federal judge just shot down Brian Kemp's key voter suppression trick. The Georgia Coalition for the People's Agenda just won a major lawsuit in federal court to shut down a multi-year Republican voter suppression effort. A federal judge's decision, embedded below, blocked the state of Georgia from disqualifying over 3,000 voters with the exact match rule which would have disproportionately impacted recently naturalized minority voters who have out-of-place hyphens, minor misspellings, or other insignificant deviations of their names on the voter rolls. This is the second major lawsuit that Republican candidate Brian Kemp and the state of Georgia have lost in the last 10 days alone. Courthouse News reports, a federal judge ruled Friday that Georgia's exact match requirement for voter identification places a severe burden on prospective voters and will not apply for next Tuesday's midterm election. The exact match law applied by Georgia Secretary of State Brian Kemp, who also happens to running for governor in a tight race against Democrat Stacey Abrams. Marks an applicant's registration as pending if the personal information on their voter registration form doesn't exactly match the information on the state's Department of Driver Services or the Social Security Administration. Another 48,000 voters' registrations are still at risk by Georgia's exact match decision and subject to further litigation in the case. Though the court ordered Kemp to issue a press release clarifying the hurdles those voters will face going to the polls. As Think Progress founder Judd Legum explained in an interview today, Kemp is very concerned what happens if everyone votes in his race against Abrams. Judge Eleanor Ross' decision guaranteed the right to vote to recent U.S. citizens whom Georgia's Republican gubernatorial nominee was trying hard to keep out away from the ballot boxes. There is misleading information at least on the Secretary of State's website, noted federal judge who was appointed by President Obama in 2013 about how to prove citizenship at the polls and there has been a lack of training of election officials for verifying citizenship at the polls, all of which could lead to these individuals not being able to cast a vote in the upcoming election. Georgia's illegal rejection of recent citizens only came to light on October 16 of this year when a new citizen named Yota Morin tried to vote over a period of two days and was rejected. The successful lawsuit was filed on October 19, last Wednesday. The ACLU also won a federal lawsuit to keep Georgia officials from rejecting absentee ballots using signature mismatches. After publication of this story, the ACLU beat Kemp on appeal of last week's decision. ACLU, at ACLU, breaking, the 11th Circuit just denied Brian Kemp's request to block our court order requiring him to give voters due process before rejecting ballots over handwriting. Georgia's elections officials cannot throw out absentee ballots over signatures without due process. This sad state of affairs is only possible in Georgia because of the Supreme Court's irrational decision written by five GOP appointees in the case of Shelby County v. Holder which threw out the Voting Rights Act's map of places which require preclearance before making changes to their voting practices. That gutted America's top voter protection law. Since then, Republican-dominated legislatures and GOP-elected officials have worked precisely and diligently to deny the right to vote in many of the districts previously regulated by the Voting Rights Act, while their partisan colleagues in Congress studiously avoided creating a new map to protect voting rights. If you have problems voting, the Nonpartisan Election Protection Coalition has a national hotline which can be reached by dialing 866-687-6863 toll-free from any phone.